Hey everybody, it is Sean at Uplift Actions, and I'm here today to show you how we're going to take um, this photo here and just using a few little clicks and our uh, new sparkler overlays, how we're going to transform it into this. So it's a pretty straightforward uh, tutorial today. So we're going to take our original image here and head over to our Actions palette where we'll have already installed the Uplift Sparkler um, applicator. And that is going to just streamline this process for you so you can see how quickly it is to use your Sparkler overlays. So we're just going to run the applicator and it's going to ask us to go now and find where we saved um, that collection of 160 Sparkler overlays on the desktop. So just click Continue and then you're going to go and find where you saved those. and just open it up and now here we're just going to choose uh, which overlay we want to use and now for this picture I wanted to do something one of those like magical swirls and I think that um, this one here is going to work really nice so all you have to do is just select the one that you want and click place so it's going to drop that into your photo now and you can move it around, you can resize it, you can do kind of whatever you want, um, but you can also change it after you um, have applied it here to your image. So I'm going to just drop it kind of roughly where I want and then just hit enter or return and it's going to do its little magic there. And ta-da! Now we are going to just paint out the areas that we don't want. Okay, so if you look over here on your layers palette, you're going to see that you've got um, this white layer mask here. So because it's white, we need to now paint out areas using a black brush. But first, I'm going to kind of position the um, sparkler where I want. Okay, so um, transforming it here, I'm going to hit Command T because I'm on a Mac. And um, you can also just go to your um, edit and free transform. Okay, so that way there I'm going to use it to move it, to size it. I think the size is actually kind of perfect, so I don't think that we want to do much else there. I do want to make it a little bit bigger here because when it's done, we don't want it to cover their face. And we're going to be putting some spots in front and some spots behind them to give it that three-dimensional look. So that's roughly where I want it. And now back over here on my layer mask. I'm going to use a black brush, so it should already be uh, selected for you because uh, the action will do that. And by right mouse clicking, I'm just going to adjust the size of my brush. So I think like an 80 for something this size. This is a high res image, so I'm going to use 80 or 90. So let's just do 90. Now areas that I don't want, I'm just going to paint out in black. So I want this to look like it's swirling in behind her. So I'm just going to start painting. And that's just going to take out that little area of the sparkler. So we want it to kind of look like it's kind of swirling around them. So if you ever paint out an area you don't want, just hit X. That's going to invert your palette over here. So we're going from a black brush to a white brush, and we're going to paint it back in because I wanted that to swoosh in around them there. So a little bit over here. Just going to make the brush a little bit smaller for some uh, finer detail in this area. You can zoom in and just kind of uh, do what you need to do to make it nice and fine. But for this, the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to kind of do it a little rough. Now so it's souping here. So now back in here we want it to disappear behind them. So using a black brush we're just going to paint it out. Make my brush a little bit bigger. And I do apologize. I still have my cold. Um, so it's going to swoosh in around here by them. We don't want it on their faces. So we're going to take that out and just kind of paint it in around here using a nice black brush. Again, you can kind of paint out bigger than you want to kind of reveal the area that you need, and then you can kind of go back in and retouch it a little bit. Because it's got these uh, poles, I think it'd be kind of cool to give it more of a three-dimensional look as well, so it kind of looks like it's kind of going in behind them, because they're leaning up against that post there. Same thing kind of over here. Let's put them in behind the post. Even here, I don't want that right in front of her. So I'm just going to paint out any spots that I want, just to give it that nice, magical look. So you can see here, if we go back to our original, or after, we've got that nice swirl happening. Now what I want to do here, now that I've got it all painted in, I'm going to flatten my image, 
you don't have to do this, but I like to just to kind of get it where I want here. And we're just going to tone it now. Um, so I'm going to use my uh, creamy film because I think that's going to look really pretty on this. Um, that's in our Uplift Essential collection. So you can just hit play. That's going to run it there. And you can actually look and see that it actually runs automatically at 55%. So if you go to your opacity here, you can add it, make it stronger, less strong, kind of get where you want. I liked it kind of how it ran. And then usually how I finish most of my pictures is from our uh, workflow collection is the rich curves. So if we go click that, you're going to see it automatically just snaps and adds a really nice contrast to the picture. So you just kind of go in there, adjust your opacity again, and I'm happy with that. So that's a pretty good transformation. We went from that to that by just dropping it in using our applicator um, for the sparklers. And again, you can run that five, six times on your photo and add sparklers wherever you want. And you, that's how you'll do it if you want to use the letters or the numbers or anything like that to kind of create um, whatever type of sparkler effect you're going for. So I hope that you enjoyed the little tutorial. Um, happy editing. I hope this helps to uplift your own photographs. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, everywhere we're at uplift actions and uh, we'll be posting lots more tutorials and things like that to show you how to use our actions so uh, happy editing take care